I've made the best enemies possible. I've spent 40 days making and polishing enemies. Just so I can teach you how to make them in less than 10 hours. That's how much of a content was added to the course I'm making. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about enemies I've got. From the simplest dude with a pipe, to the absolute weapon of destruction. Now let's begin with building nice fighting arena. And I'm gonna place Bob over here so he can be the judge of the battle. First enemy is a dude with a pipe. Pipe me, loser! Yeah, that was easy. When I began to design enemies in post-apocalyptic world, zombie behavior was most obvious. But nowadays, you cannot surprise anyone with slow zombie pack. They are simply not scary. So why not make enemies creepy and fast? I remember being very impressed by quick moving horde of zombies in these movies. So taking inspiration from there, I decided to make my robots fast. I did not balance health and damage yet, but systems that are covered in this course will allow you to create any gameplay you like. You can make horde of enemies where they fall in like flies, or you can make each enemy matter and harder to defeat. Personally me, I want to make low health but high damage, so each battle feels like a scene from a John Wick movie. Now, of course it's the best when enemy has some variations, each of them has different abilities, and I've decided to give each enemy unique touch-up with a random color, weapon, and random set of corruption crystals. This way, even a basic enemy feels different from a previous one. Set of randomly chosen crystals not only can help to make them look different, but also they help to understand how dangerous is the enemy. The bigger amount of crystals, the bigger threat. And as I said, the difference between enemies doesn't stop on random appearance. They also have different perks. Shielded enemy can tank more damage, and you need to either destroy the shield or catch enemy from behind. I'm very happy with this perk, and it's just the beginning. There is dodgy enemy, he moves faster, he kicks faster, and he doesn't use any weapons. And the main feature here, pay attention, he can dodge your bullets. This makes him really dangerous, especially if you are using slow weapon like a rifle, where you have to make every shot count. Next enemy is my favorite. I'm a huge fan of Vikings, and I love adding stuff related to them in my work. This enemy throws an axe if he cannot get close to you, which makes him capable of giving you a cutting edge experience from a big distance. And here is something that makes it even better. If you are good enough, you can shoot the axe and avoid upcoming damage. So that's the set of melee enemies who challenge the player not to stand in one place. But what's coming next is even better. Thanks to my patrons and students who got my previous courses, I could spend enough time to develop range enemies, with a system and features I would never try to develop before. It took me more than two weeks, so I genuinely hope you will like it. Um, maybe give me a comment with your thoughts on this? I'm really curious. So the range enemies. They can use 5 different weapons, which is not surprise, I guess, but what makes them really good is a cover system that you can enable as ability. You can either have enemies who does not take cover and they'll just stand there and blindly shoot, you can make them take cover in the beginning of a battle, which will shake things a bit in the beginning of each encounter, or, or you can make them dynamically decide if they need to take cover according to the situation they have. So they can play hide and seek with the player, dynamically change covers and positions in the battle all the time, sometimes approaching and sometimes running away. They can remember your last position and they will be expecting you from the same place, so you can take advantage of that and surprise them from a new angle. And if you decide to escape fighting area at some point, enemies will make sure you don't have time to rest and they'll just simply follow you across the battlefield. I'm super impressed by results I've got with the enemies, and it's only half of what I want you to see. Next enemy inspired by another movie I watched like thousand times when I was a kid. Terminator was terrifying and unstoppable, so I decided to use it as a reference and I made unstoppable enemy. He doesn't care about covers, he got full body of crystals as an armor, and he has only one goal, terminate the player. Target acquired. 
Believe me, I survived this battle only because player has unlimited health. On the top of that, as usual, I like to add something very cool. So I made a grenade ability that not only looks cool, but also it will apply force to the objects after explosion. Yes, science! Testing this was real fun for me, so I've decided to improve it even more by making it possible to shoot the grenades from the hands of the enemy, which not only blows my mind, but also everything around the enemies. I'm so proud of all of this and I just want to tell you that this will be included in the course, you can make everything yourself with the step-by-step -step instructions and deep explanation on how I'm doing it, why I'm making these or that decisions and of course source project will be included as well. What is coming next is a most dangerous enemy in the game. And before I show it to you, let me thank my Patreons and give special thanks to Friendly Robot and Retrobat Gamer. Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible. Now, as the logic of world dictates that all of the robots were made to serve people, I needed a reason to have a big ass robot in the game. And I think it's pretty simple. Before Finn hit the Shen, they were used for constructions, which does not sound dangerous at all until you place a weapon in his hands. Look at this machine. Even him walking feels dangerous. He also has two abilities, one of them is a jump attack, which he cannot do unless he is sure he can jump over the obstacles. And there is a special ability, which is, you know, it's better to see it once than hear about it. Yes! Flamethrower! Wait, but if he is a builder, why there is a flamethrower? Because it's so much fun! Oh man! The building is on fire! I also made another boss but he has slightly different weapon. It's a huge hammer that he can use to attack the player. He nicely jumps to get you and his best skill is a hammer spin with explosions following behind. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, bye!